In this video, we take you to the Royal Gorge Suspension Bridge, which is located eight miles west of the town of Canyon City, Colorado. The Royal Gorge is the first attraction in Colorado that my father took me to back in 1981 when I came out here for the very first time. The bridge is 1,053 feet above the Arkansas River below. The Royal Gorge Bridge was constructed in 1929 and until the year 2001 held the distinction as being the highest suspension bridge in the world. It is still the highest suspension bridge in the United States. I want to apologize at the outset for the quality of this video as a couple of factors came into play. First of all, it was very windy out there and we were not wearing our microphones. Second, the rain came about two-thirds of the way out the bridge as the skies opened up and soaked us. There is a lot more that we wanted to show you while we were there, but unfortunately the weather did not permit it to happen. At any rate, we hope you enjoy this video presentation. These are the things you can do as a thrill ride if you want to pay look, the money to do it here. Look at that one. You're climbing up rocks. Did you see the little thing they were walking across? I did not. Wait till they show it. That. So, okay, there they're... Okay, I'll show you in a second. That looks so scary. Well, you should do that. It's, it only costs $155 a person for three yeah, hours. Yeah, okay, now watch, watch them. Look, no way. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, just in case you... In case that's your thing. <laughs> yeah. The world's scariest sky coaster. We, we were listening to people scream on that. We were on the bridge watching them. It takes you out over the gorge. I'd pass that out. Yeah. Carowinds ain't got nothing that would be that. I'd do one at Carowinds before. I, I would too. <laughs> but we were listening to people screaming their lungs yes. on that thing. <laughs> You saw what the gorge looked like. You go out over it and you're just suspended there by a cord. I can't zip lining across it either. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So just in case you're interested in that. And here are the prices. I didn't get a good shot of that inside, so. So the theater is free. Folks, it's not even 6 o'clock p.m. yet. If you want to know why it's so dark, there are storms and rain, uh, thunderstorms in the area. It looks like it's about 8.30 at night. It's only about 6. It's 8.50. 5.51. 5 this is not the kind of weather we were hoping away from Canyon City where he lived at. Sorry, it's a little jumpy. I'm walking. I'm not using them with a demo. So this bridge right here at one time held the title of the tallest suspension bridge in the world. It's, it uh, is 1,053 feet above the Arkansas River. I'm going to show you the Arkansas River here in just a moment. We're going to walk out onto the bridge. It used to be the highest suspension bridge in the world until 2001, and it still holds the title of the highest suspension bridge in the United States, but uh, one in China is now higher. All the rides are closed, but for your information, they have some pretty neat thrill rides here. Uh, I'm gonna show you one here in a minute that you would not pay me to get on. Um, so here is the beginning of the bridge right here. All right, let me go ahead and show you a little bit. This is going to be a quick video just because of the thunderstorms. I'll walk over here and get the sign. At the moment, it's not raining hard, but I, we see storms literally all around us. So here's a little bit about the bridge. Okay. So, now they have a, a gondola that goes, let me show you where the gondola goes. You can see the wires running across over there. There's a gondola that spans the gorge. You can see those wires there. There's a gondola. It's not running right now. Then there's <laughs> this thing here. If you want a thrill ride, go on YouTube and watch people. Uh, what is that called? Is that the Via Ferrata? It may be. Okay, or the sky coaster, maybe the sky coaster. Anyway, it takes you out and hangs you out over the gorge, and uh, I'm just not going to do that. 
and they used to have, I don't see the sign for it now, they had a little thing that you stood up in and it took you down to the bottom. We did that last time. So I'm not seeing that, but I know where it should be if it's still running. Now, right here is the gorge itself. Let me back out of here just a little bit. Down there, you can see and hear the Arkansas River. Sadly, my dad went to high school with two boys who were both athletes who drowned in the Arkansas River down there. I don't know if it was in that section or not, but they drowned in it. I think within a year of each other. Uh, there's also a set of train tracks, if you can see that, that runs beside of it. When we were down there in 2006, when we were out here, you remember the train came through when we were at the bottom and it blew its horn. So loud. And with those canyons on both sides like that, that's the loudest noise I ever heard. It could have deafened somebody. There's actually a clip of a little girl right uh, on the side near the train and she took off running when it blew its horn. But here is the bridge. And it moves as you walk. Yeah, that's the best part about it. It moves. Now this thing here, this is the thing I was talking about that used to take a little red car down into the canyon. I don't remember what it was called. I don't know if it still even is in operation. I don't where, where was it at? You got on it right here. I guess. That we, I think it was. I, mean, I don't see where the. You remember we rode it now? Yeah, what, that's look at this the here. Zip line. That's the zip line right there. I know. I'm talking about the cables going down, honey. Yeah, but it may, maybe it's back behind that rock. It could be. We'll check. But it looks like they got states, uh, the various states on the side right here as well. It's in alphabetical order and they got their flags, Arizona. So let me just pause and give you some views of it and pray that this rain holds off. It's very much worth seeing. Now, I'll be honest with you, the price has skyrocketed. You think when we came out here, it may be $10, $12 a person, $37 a head now. And the ride's up for an additional charge. On the metal truss underneath it. Let me bring your attention to this is actually the name of it. That's John F. Kennedy Peak out there, and I think you can probably figure out why it's called that. Because that, sure enough, does look like John F. Kennedy's profile. I'm sorry, folks, the bridge rocks. There are people walking on it, and I'm standing still at the moment. We just look at some of these rock formations here. In a small way, even though the rock turns red, it puts me in mind a little bit of Sedona, Arizona. Does this put you in mind just a little bit of Sedona? Yeah, it does. I hope y'all are hearing that river down there because it's, it's actually pretty loud to be a thousand feet above it. And it does look like the thing that used to take you to the bottom, it was right over there. See where it's kind of flat right there? That's where it took you to the bottom. And then you could walk down along the river for ways. That's gone now. I wonder why they take that thing. I am going to try to find the old video. It'll be very poor quality. I'm going to insert a clip of that thing if I have it. Yes, I did see that lightning. In Colorado is a state known for lightning strike. And people are getting struck by lightning too. But it's still a ways away. So, I mean, walking out on a, a metal bridge, what could go wrong? <laughs> Out there, you see that little shelter out there where it looks like those train tracks? I think that was Buckskin Joe. My dad actually worked there in high school for a little while. You can see that little building right there. No, he didn't work in that building, but he worked in the theme park that's no longer there called Buckskin Joe. And 
Ryan Shaughnessy will appreciate this. The Minnesota plate. I actually don't even know what Minnesota's flag looks like, so let's find out. Or don't you know? snow covered even this time of year. By the way, just in case you took a notion, uh, they do not allow that, so do not get any ideas about bringing your fishing rod out here <laughs> and dropping your line a thousand feet into the Arkansas River. They do not allow that. It's strictly enforced. You see that lightning bolt out there? I did. I'll go ahead and put it in here. Royal Gorge Bridge and Park, established 1929. And here is our flag. Out here on the Royal Gorge Bridge in Canyon City, Colorado. Well, that didn't go so good. I knew this was bound to happen, and it did for about two-thirds of the way out the bridge. Yeah, we took off running. Thankfully, I have a, a rain jacket <laughs> with not. me. So, uh, uh. so there is, they are taking golf carts out here and taking people back, so we're going to hit your ride back on one. Okay, I know this was a short video. The weather did not turn out as planned. Um, but uh, we did at least walk across the bridge. We had to, about two-thirds of the way, the uh, skies opened up. So we had to run down here to the bathroom under some shelter. But I did want y'all to see it. My thoughts on the Royal Gorge is this. Right there is going to be our ride, so we're going to um, finish this in a little bit. Never mind, that's not our ride. He has to go do something else. So there's a cart that's pulled down here. So anyway, um, my thoughts on the Royal Gorge Bridge is this. It is absolutely beautiful. The, the bridge over the, uh, the gorge, looking down at the river, the rock formations, it does put me a little bit in mind of Sedona, Arizona, but I think they've priced it through the roof. It isn't. Honestly, I wish I could remember everything she could do. I know some of the stuff is extra charges like the zip line and that yeah on top of the 37 thing. admission that you pay yeah. just to walk across the bridge but they've got like a theater over here i don't know if they have something in that they do have an app i'm looking at over there so that might be so what i'm getting at to make a long story short is we paid a lot of money to walk across that bridge i knew it had gone up so watch this video a thousand times and share it with all your friends make sure and give it a bunch of <laughs> yeah thumbs up yeah share it comment in other words the more views the better it helps us out yeah, so, so thank you especially on this one this one promote this video like no other so anyway <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm joking but I'm, I'm soaking that I am joking, uh, soaking. joking and soaking I made a rhyme so anyway uh, the rain does appear to be letting up yeah, a little bit so if you enjoyed this video uh, sorry for the ending of it please like and subscribe give it a thumbs up find us also on Facebook uh, have a blessed and dry evening Derek's a little delusional from being out here. I'm not delusional, I'm just soaking. Lightning has moved on. Hey, did y'all ever hear about the times that lightning got struck by Chuck Norris? Probably didn't do yeah. it twice. <laughs> uh, y'all hear that Chuck Norris went skydiving the other day and his parachute didn't open, but it was okay because he got, took it back the next day and got a refund. Oh, he should. Uh, maybe it's time to get a call today. What do you think? Probably so. All right, y'all.